Hi guys and welcome back to another baby related video. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 10 main items that I have personally found have been really really great for newborns up until the age of four months. Cindy is now four months old and these items I have found incredibly useful over the last four months and have just generally made my life a little bit easier with having a newborn. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So my first item that I have is a love to dream swaddle. It's one of these and this is the size medium. This one goes from six kilos to 8.5 kilos. Um, she is now 6.2 kilos as of a couple of weeks ago, so she's just moved up into this bigger size. Um, I really, really love these because her arms can actually come up. She loves to bite her hands and access her hands all the time. So these are really good because she's still got movements in her arms, but she is swaddled. So we have about five or six of these because she goes through sometimes like two a day of these ones. The next item I really love are the mum to mum bibs. Indy is a dribble machine. This kid dribbles and dribbles and dribbles and has done for, since she was super, super little. So she has always been wearing bibs ever since she was like a month old or something. These bibs are the ones that I have found to be super absorbent. They've got a backing on them, like a waterproof type backing. So nothing goes through onto her clothes. Otherwise, I'd be changing the bibs and I'd be changing her clothes every couple of hours. So these are really great. And the, this one is the infant size. So this one goes up to, I want to say like six months. It is quite small around here. And we do have to have it on the, um, on the last dot. But she does have a big head. So she's nearly out of the size. And then they do this size that is from six months these are really big but they are amazing they just catch all the dribble so none of their clothes get dirty so these bibs are amazing so they're from new zealand they're called the mum to mum brand indy has woken up so we will be doing this together she's just got a little rash on her face too it's just come up so it looks like a reaction to something but i don't know what from okay so number three is a Sophie the giraffe. She loves her hands in her mouth. She loves to chew things and she has done for a long time now, like a good couple of months. She really, really loves Sophie the giraffe. She loves that it squeaks. She loves that she can eat it and chew it. The only thing that I do find not so great is it's because it makes the noise. There is like the hole there and I just get worried that um, I have seen some that get like mold inside of them. So I don't think I'm going to keep this one for too long. We do have the other little one, but I actually can't find it. We had it yesterday and now I can't find it. So I love it, but I just don't love that thing about it. The fourth thing that I have found really, really useful is nose spray. She's had, it is winter over here, so she has already had two little colds. This I just find really good just to spray up her nose, just saline solution. Just to help her breathe a little bit better when she does get really clogged up. Um, especially when it is a bit colder. So this, we've really been loving. This is just the flow baby one. Fifth thing I have chosen are nail clippers. Indy has got little razors for fingernails and they grow like wildfire. So just a little pair. These are the Newbie brand. Little pair of baby nail clippers. Item number six is... A booby pump. This booby pump is amazing. It isn't a haka pump. There is um, a brand called Haka that's from New Zealand. This is just, it's almost like a replica one of it. I just got this one off eBay. It was like six bucks, super cheap and super, super effective. You just like put it on and it catches your like let down when you're feeding. It is amazing. This is pretty much all I use now for um, extra breast milk that I can store and freeze. Seventh thing that I wanted to put into this video is not essential at all, but super cute. A headbands. You can never have enough headbands for a little girl. So we've got like a little winter one, a knitted one. Just these top knot headbands are so, so cute. 
This one is just like a little rabbit one. This one's from Seed. This one is from AliExpress, I think. There is a um, little rabbit one. We've got the little rabbit one here. This one's from Cotton On. This is one of my favorite ones. Another like top knot. See? She just, oh, wrong finger. Look. She's already been fed and she just wants to eat and eat and eat. Nuggle Bubs. I think it's maybe like a home brand, um, not a home brand, like a home, um, like a mum or something who makes these. And it is adorable as well. I love this on here. I think it's so cute. And her most recent one is this one, this little pink one. Super cute. This one is, oh my gosh, Kapow Kids, I think. That's the label there. I'm not sure. Number eight is a Chico baby wrap. So it is one of these wraps and it is just a super long piece of like stretchy material. This I find a lot better when they are like newborn and super tiny more than when they're this age. It's really, really stretchy. She loved it when she was a newborn because she loved just being... Look, all babies do like they love just being on their mum all the time so if I needed to do anything if I was out if I was out shopping if I was cooking anything I would just put her in that wrap I'll put um a little clip of like a photo of what it looks like on and it's not that hard when I first was looking into getting one I was looking at their tutorials and they looked super complicated once you get it and you do it like once or twice Follow the tutorials and it is so, so easy. The only thing that I didn't really like about that wrap was because it was so long, because it needs to be, if you were out and trying to put it on, it would drag along the floor as you were trying to put it on, if that makes sense. So that was one thing that I didn't really like. Number nine is a 360 baby carrier and it is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So this one you can use from birth. Oh, you're getting wriggly. You're getting wriggly. You can use from birth up until, I want to say like 20 kilos. This one you can wear like front facing. They can face outwards on your hip and on your back. So you can wear all four ways. And with that, I got the newborn insert as well, which goes into the carrier. And it's actually got a little cushion that goes inside here. So it just goes inside here, push it down so it is all in there properly. That they can use up until they are five and a half kilos. She is 6.2 and I've just taken her out now because I just didn't feel like she was ready to come out of the whole insert. Now all we use in the carrier, because she's still, like she's not that tall, use this. So this just goes under her bum so that it just props her up a little bit, but she's not in the insert anymore. That I could not rave enough about. I find that so, so easy. You can do it yourself. You don't need anyone else to be clipping you in or anything. And she feels really, really safe in there. The last item I have found really amazing, these bags, these baby bags. There is tons and tons of space in these bags. I don't even use it to the full potential that I could, but it's got the front pocket here. These pockets here are for like baby bottles, but we don't really take any baby bottles out because she is breastfed. But those are for baby bottles, so we just use, I usually put her nose spray in here. I've got some Kawa Kawa Balm. And there's actually nothing in the other pocket. Um, I've just got some of her moisturising that lotion that I just take out with me. And some hand sanitizer. It's got really roomy pockets on the side as well. And this one you can actually put wipes in. And there's like a little hole so you can just pull them out. Or tissues or whatever you want on the side of there. There's also another pocket on the back here. Which I thought was really good to put. So like your wallet in or something. So if you were carrying it on your back. Then you wouldn't be worried about people like stealing anything out of the front of the um, bag. Now the inside of the bag is so roomy. She's just gonna chill out here for a second. Uh, yes. So the inside of this bag is super, super roomy as well. Opens up like this. You can, you can see. So I've just got a change mat in here for if I'm out. 
a packet of wipes. These are the Silk brand wipes. Don't know if you can see that. Just got a couple of clothes in there for Indy. Some socks in the pocket. I've got some bibs in there. I've got some of her creams and just some nappy bags. So, and it is not even like a quarter of the way full. There is so much room in this bag, and I feel like I've nearly got like everything that I kind of need for for when I go out. So. So good, and I love how you can put it on your back as well. My kids love carrying this bag, which is so good. So if I've got the Ergo on, then one of the kids can carry this. It's not a big, bulky, nappy bag that you need to carry about. So I love this one. And this one I just got off um, AliExpress.com. And it was like 20 bucks or something. It was so good, so cheap, and does the job super well. So those are my 10 things that have helped me get through these past four months with a newborn. And thank you so much again for stopping in, checking out my video. Hope that you'll subscribe. Have a great day. See you for my next one. Bye.